What is going on guys, Vlad here with AsolusPLC.com. If you enjoy videos on PLC programming, HMI development, or any other application development for industrial automation, consider hitting this subscribe button down below on your screen. And of course, the notification bell to receive the latest videos that I will be putting out on this channel. Without any further delay, let's get into today's video. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the PLC box that some of you guys have seen in the previous videos of mine and asked about the different kinds of hardware that I have in it, as well as what I would recommend as a starter PLC for some of you who are just beginning in on your journey to PLC programming. So we're gonna be taking a closer look at this box. I'm gonna be talking about the different selections as to why I selected certain components and why I decided to include them in this box, as well as what I would recommend, like I said, as a beginner PLC and what you should get to start PLC programming. All right, so at the very top of the box, you have two of the largest devices, which are going to be the Compact Logix. This is an L24ER PLC. Very, very convenient because it can run some of the latest versions of Studio 5000. It goes up to, I believe, version 30 at this time, but it is currently flashed at version uh, sorry, it goes up to version 32, but it is currently flashed at version 30, which is what I use in a lot of my videos. Next to it, you see the Ethernet switch. So right here, it is a Stratix managed switch. So that Stratix switch is very, very critical in some of the industrial network applications. It is a switch which allows you to have a lot of different capabilities, such as NAT, uh, segmentations of your LAN, WAN, uh, network addresses, but just a very, very fully featured Cisco switch essentially in a Rockwell package. That being said, this particular switch is the lower end mo model, so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it is something really cool to play with, and it allows me to connect multiple devices from this box. Right below this, you see the Micrologix 1100 series, I apologize, I'm, I don't see the box from the front, so I'm trying to look at the camera as I point at things. So this is the Micrologix 1100 series PLC. Very, very convenient, extremely cheap on eBay. And it is the PLC that I would recommend if you want to start with Alan Bradley PLC programming. It is definitely the PLC of choice because like I said, it's very cost effective and it runs uh, RS Logix 500, which is still a very good language and it is used in many different industrial applications at this point. Next to it, you have a unmanaged switch so this is just a five port i believe it's phoenix automation switch so just a uh, a way to add more devices to this because sometimes i add an external camera i add an external hmi so there's a couple of components that can go on that which aren't uh, present in the box itself next to it you have the automation click plc so the automation direct click is a plc which i've gotten uh, quite a bit of time ago and it is something that I not necessarily use for uh, industrial controls which of course it can be it is a fully featured PLC but it is something that I use for for example for outputting an analog signal for outputting different digital signals so just a uh, fully featured PLC that sits right there highly recommended if you're getting into uh, PLC programming to look at this line of PLCs as well because it is highly cost effective the software is also free so it's really easy to get started with PLC programming with those I'm just going to tilt the screen tilt the camera a little bit what I have at the bottom the two rows of course mostly have uh, terminals but I also have the power supply so depending on which devices you're planning to purchase you will need a 110 to 24 volts power supply in your kit and last but not least here all the way at the bottom you have this Siemens PLC which is going to be the Siemens S71200 it's a PLC that I bought on eBay not too long ago and I haven't had too much uh, time to experiment with but from what I've been told it's one of the uh, greatest entry points into the Siemens platform I cannot say more about it because like I said, I didn't really spend that much time to play with it. But from what I've heard, if you're looking into Siemens, which is the dominant platform in the European market, then it's a definitely a good PLC to start. And all of these components are going to be listed in the comment section or on the description section below, as well as the Solus PLC forums. So if you have any questions on this hardware, on what else to get, or just get my feedback on some of the other stuff that you're planning to buy, just let me know in the comments and or on the forum. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time, take care, bye.